Hello everyone, and it is time for another product review. And this time I have the Starbucks Non-Dairy, which is made from almond and oat, the vanilla flavor. It's the first time I've seen this. They have the caramel macchiato, they have the hazelnut, and now they have the vanilla latte. Okay, let me get this out of the way first. There are some people who are advocating boycotting Starbucks. I don't know if it's just the Starbucks stores, I don't know if it's all the products in relation to supporting Palestine. But I've also seen some conflicting stories about what and Starbucks saying that they're not actually supporting Israel. In fact, there are no Starbucks locations in Israel. So there seems to be some confusion on the official stance and Starbucks sort of saying no, that they are not supporting a genocide in any way. So my goal with this is not to be political at all, so I hope no one's offended that I've picked up a Starbucks product. My goal in everything I'm doing, pretty much, is to be able to show you guys vegan products. Products that will help you make a transition to veganism or stick with veganism when we are faced with a world that wants us to not be vegan. So if you want a vanilla latte flavor of, of a creamer, this is now available. There are others, as you know, I review all of them. So I'm here to promote vegan products, and I'm, again, with the Starbucks in Palestine, it's a whole iffy scenario where they are saying that they're not in support of Israel, but whatever. I also have, and I got this on sale, the Starbucks Vanilla Nespresso. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to get this, uh, fired up in my Nespresso machine. I am going to, of course, take this and froth this, see how it foams, and I'm going to have a latte. So this is the first, I've, I've been to a few stores, and I have not seen this. This is the first time I saw this was at Metro, and I went to a couple other stores hoping to find it a little cheaper because it was $8.49, and I found none of it. So I did go back to Metro. I had a $2 off coupon, which I used. So I'm going to get started with my coffee. So you're going to hear that whirring in the background. Just do this. And let me... Well, I guess let's look at the ingredients. Okay, I have had to refilm this portion because the Nespresso coffee maker going off sounded like some sort of massive drilling was way too loud in the background. So, the ingredients. It's an almond base with water, almonds of course, Sugar, coconut oil, pea protein, potassium citrate, oat flour, baking soda, gel and gum, guar gum, and I think this is to tocopherols or tocopherols, Emily's natural flavor. As I say, to shake well, if the seal is broken, of course, do not use. And for every tablespoon, you get 30 calories, one gram of fat, one gram of saturated fat, no trans fat, five grams of carbohydrates, no fiber, five grams of sugar, not too bad. 0.2 grams of protein, no cholesterol, 10 milligrams of sodium, 30 milligrams of potassium, no calcium, and no iron. And it says here, we crafted our Starbucks coffee enhancer with a smooth, rich blend of almond and oat with added flavors of vanilla to pair perfectly with our coffee for a sweet and velvety cup. And yeah, I'm going to try frothing this and mixing it with the Starbucks vanilla flavored coffee and see how that is. So you're going to see here when you open it, it has this lid inside. It also has this lid, which is meant to be the one you pour it out of. But I've, I don't like that lid. I tend to discard it. I once dropped and broke. So I just use the lid that it has. So I've just gotten a little spoon and I am tasting this. It's a delicious vanilla flavor. So, I'm going to get some in my va va frother right here. And I'm going to foam some up. We're going to see how this foams. It's delicious. It's really, really good. I'm going to get that foamed up. Oops. Let's take a look as it foams. So, you know, one of the things is I recently, you know, I've reviewed the Silk um, Next Milk, and the first time I bought the Silk Next Milk, it foamed. 
Then the next time I bought the regular silk next milk, it didn't foam. And I bought the silk whole next milk, and it foamed. Well, the last one I had here did not foam. Um, and I'm finding, I think even the silk soy, the last time I bought it, didn't foam. The regular soy milk. And I was, I can't remember, I think it was the soy milk. In any case, I don't know if they've changed the formulation. But the one thing I knew that foamed was the Starbucks creamer. So, of course, when I saw this, I was like, I have to try this. Um, you know, if you're like me, you want a coffee, you want a, something that's going to foam, you want it to be non-dairy, um, obviously, and you want it to taste good. So here we go. Let me get the my Nespresso coffee in my Nespresso cup. And I'm just waiting for that to finish. Okay. And yeah, let's look at that. Like, I'm going to turn this light back on. Why did I turn it off? Okay. So, that's a lot of foam. It's beautiful foam. And let's take a look at it as I pour it into my cup. Okay. There we go. Nespresso already has <clears throat> some crema at the top. Sorry, guys. But as you see, this foam added to that to make this a, an extra thick crema. So now I have my latte or macchiato, whatever you want to call it. I have a coffee with a beautiful foam. And I'm just going to give this a mix. Okay. I'm just setting up my picture here. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Let's give this a taste. It's delicious. So the vanilla Starbucks with this vanilla creamer, also from Starbucks. Mm. It's a delicious coffee. It really is. It's a great foamer. So if you don't want the caramel, which I don't see why you wouldn't, I love caramel. And if you don't want the hazelnut, which I don't, because I don't like hazelnut, there's a new op offering, and it's vanilla. Now, the good thing about Earth's Own, although the biggest, the big one they have is vanilla, sometimes you just want a plain flavored uh, milk. So we have a few of those. And you guys, you've seen my videos. I'm always going to be trying out vegan products. This is a good one. Buy it if you want. If you don't, don't. That's all for now, guys. I will see you in the next video.